Hello everyone. I have just rested a little bit because my calves are killing me and I am back uh, on the exercise grind. Starting with a trip downstairs, which will be easy, followed by a trip uphill, which will be not easy. I hope. Well, it won't. I've done it 15 times today already, so I know. Anyway, it's been raining all day. You can probably tell from looking at the ground. And it's led up for a bit. So now I'm taking my shot, seeing if I can get my exercise done, and hoping I don't get showered. <laughs> uh, didn't get any exercise yesterday because that whole Riot 10 thing and my interview with those two rioters about the Legends of Build War thing took up my whole day, basically, like, managing that shit. Because that was the thing with the publishing schedule. It had to come out at a certain time, and we had to publish it in a certain way, yada, yada. You know all that, you know, when you're working with people who work for a company, there's all kinds of things. So, exercise today. And I have a topic in mind to talk about. A complicated topic, and a difficult one, so this might be a very long vlog indeed. Specifically, um, I got a uh, question on Curious Cat, not in the comments this time, but on Curious Cat, about... I mean, I'm going to summarize their question, and that makes them sound very rude and abrasive, but they weren't. They were very nice. They were very, like, I don't understand this... Could you talk about it? And basically they said, um, how do you justify giving exposure to Riot's products by making videos about it when they do all this awful shit? Like when there is all this sexism and workplace abuse and like all of that shit. And that's a fair question, I think. It really, it, <laughs> it, it really is a fair question. Um, because... How do I justify that? And the answer is I don't really. In the sense that I don't... Like, it's not really something that can be justified in the traditional sense of the word. Because I don't think it's a moral black and white issue. And the reason why is something that they cited to me. Um, I had retweeted a tweet um, that basically called people out for saying, hey, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, so I'll just do whatever the fuck I want. Because... There's no right way to do things, so I'll just do them in aggressively wrong ways. Like, for instance, people who say, no ethical consumption of the capitalism, and then they go eat, you know, chicken sandwiches at Chick-fil-A, which is a horrifying, transphobic, gay-phobic, homophobic, just absolutely horrifyingly ugly company that spends its money on trying to take away the rights of LGBTQ Americans. And the post I retweeted, because I agree with it, basically said, like, LGBTQ rights are not less important than your desire for chicken nuggets, basically. And I agree with that. And so, here I am on YouTube, quite literally making money off League of Legends, a game made by a company whose upper management I consider complete snake bastard people, and how do I justify that? And like I said, I don't justify it, because this this. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. But the difference, at least I hope, in what I do and people who just go and eat at Chick-fil-A is that you can reasonably ask someone, hey, if you're going to eat fast food, don't eat at Chick-fil-A. Because there's like 150 other fast food restaurant options in most places. And most people could just go somewhere else. And those people who can't... Like, usually fast food is a product that you can give up. Not for everyone, though. Um, which... Maybe we'll talk about it later. But for most people, it's a reasonable thing to ask that they don't eat at one particular restaurant. And so, even though the fast food industry as a whole, especially in America, is pretty unethical, given the way that it treats its workers, given the way that it sources its meat from, you know, meat companies that use horrifying, abusive uh, farming practices with their animals and, you know slaughter them in terrible ways and pump them full of uh, antibiotics causing antibiotic resistant bacteria to emerge which might kill us all <sighs> like it's still reasonable to say hey don't eat a Chick-fil-A at least what it wouldn't be reasonable to do would be to say everyone needs to give up all fast food right now because it's unethical because it is unethical. There is no ethical way to eat fast food because the industry and the means of production of fast food are corrupt from top to bottom. But 
giving up fast food entirely is not an option for some people. And the people for whom it's most not an option tends to be the people with the fewest resources. Because in the United States, you get more calories per dollar spent in the fast food industry than you get anywhere else. Like, it's the cheapest food you can buy in a lot of places. It's the cheapest way to feed yourself and your family with enough energy that you can get through your life. And for a lot of people, especially like impoverished people who work two jobs and have families to care for, and they can't like go to a grocery shop and buy healthy ingredients and take them home and cook them because they're working two jobs. Like they don't have time, they don't have the energy, and they don't have the money to do that kind of thing. And so for, for like, especially, you know, upper class wealthy assholes to say, oh, it's so unethical to eat at these fast food restaurants. I only eat fair trade. Mwah. Like, that's bourgeois bullshit, because they are living under capitalism. They can't make ethical choices. There aren't any ethical choices available to them. And that's what no ethical consumption under capitalism means, is, is that capitalism does not make ethical choices available. It doesn't, because it's almost always more profitable to make unethical choices available. And so, what it means that there is no ethical consumption under capitalism is that everyone who lives under it has to make choices for themselves how they want to cope with it and deal with it. And for people who have the money for it and the resources available, that might mean giving up fast food and buying food that's locally sourced from ethical growers and only eating vegetarian to avoid supporting the food industry. For people who don't have money, that might not be a reasonable thing to ask them. Focus camera, please. Thank you. Not that it helps. And it's the same thing for me. Because, okay, Riot is a kind of a... a run by awful snake people who masquerade in human suits, who do awful shit, and, you know, who are owned by Tencent entirely, which is a company that's controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, a party that has currently interred 1.3 million Muslim Uyghurs in concentration camps and is suppressing freedom of speech in Tibet and Taiwan and Hong Kong and got pretty much everywhere that they can get their hands on it. So how do I just... Well, because what's my... What's my reasonable alternative? Only talk about Blizzard games? No, that same same deal. How about EA? No, not so much. How about Epic Games? They're fine, right? No, oh, no, wait. Actually, there's there's issues. Um, the way they produce Fortnite, for example, Jesus Christ, the working conditions. Okay, so fuck it. Cut all the corporations out. Let's just only make videos about incredibly obscure indie games created by auteurs and self-published. Okay. How am I going to pay my rent doing that? Right? Because, like, those videos are not going to get views because those videos are not going to be interesting to my audience. So what no ethical consumption of the capitalism for me means in this situation is that there isn't, like, this profession, this YouTube thing, there isn't a way for me to do this in a way that let me pay my rent and my student loans that is ethical. <clears throat> It just isn't available, and so it's pick your poison. And my consideration is, given that I am not fully, but somewhat unique in the game's criticism space at the moment, in that I focus so heavily on the artwork and like critiques of diversity and queer representation when I can... I really still need to make that fucking video about Varys because fucking hell. Like, I focus on those things. Not as much as I should, maybe, but... I make an effort. That's it's not ethical, but it's better than me not being there. Like, because <clears throat> how many other people are there with a following on YouTube who are framing that argument? That hey, riot! Don't fucking publish titty babes all the time. Do something else. You know, which doesn't make me any kind of a hero. Like, it's not. Like I said, that's not ethical or heroic or brave or somehow more 
Why am I going this way? I was supposed to go down the stairs again, damn it. It's not better. Like, it's not good. But it's, it's the best I can do at the moment while still being sustainable. And you might say, okay, well, why don't you do those videos about independent blah blah and then I'll support you on Patreon. Well, a funny fact about that, Patreon processes its payments through PayPal. And PayPal actively part- uh, works with law enforcement to harass, abuse, and imprison sex workers, especially trans sex workers and sex workers of color as a payment processor. And they regularly shut down funding for people who do sex work and people who like just people who draw porn, really. Because they consider that bad for their brand, and so they deny marginalized people who really fucking need a way to make a living a way to make a living. Patreon works with them, and Patreon itself also has a few issues sometimes. So, like again, there is, there is no ethical consumption of the capitalism. So, as a person, you have to draw your own line. Like, what am I willing to accept, and what am I not willing to accept? And I am personally not willing to eat a Chick-fil-A, for example. I mean, I can't. There's none of them here in Denmark. But if there were, I would never eat there, ever. I'm not willing to completely give up fast food. Because sometimes it's late, and I'm depressed, and I'm fucking stressed out, and I can't cook. And I need food. You know, and none of this excuses me from the criticism. Like, I think the criticism that was framed in that Curious Cat answer uh, question is fair. It's fair to say, hey, you criticize Riot a lot, but you sure do make money off them. Which, I like, especially recently with the 10-year anniversary stream, I had 1,200 people join me on stream just to talk about, like, just to react to their shit. And that made me, like, not a ton of money, but it, I made more on that live stream than I do on most of my videos. I made money by participating in the hype, by participating in the advertising. And it's fair to criticize me for that. And I'm not going to I'm not going to say it's not because yeah, that one's true. And like it's also true that I probably could spend more of my time bringing up the very critical issues of the ways that Riot treat their employees, the ways that they forced women into arbitration, the failures that they have had in terms of queer representation, their failure in terms of body diversity representation, I could spend more time doing that. And one of the reasons why I don't is because those videos don't get views as much. They don't make as much money, and they attract a hell of a lot of toxic, ugly, really harassy commenters that I then have to deal with, and that's bad for my mental health. And that's... I can... I can try and excuse it, but it is a form of cowardice, ultimately. And I don't want to defend myself against that, really, because that's fair criticism. It doesn't mean... I recognize that it's fair, but I'm also not necessarily going to change, at least not right away, because I've drawn my line for what I think is acceptable. And currently, I think what I'm doing right now is acceptable. I think... I think it does as much harm reduction as can reasonably be expected of me. And I try to pass, I, you know, like some of the money I make on Patreon on to, like, trans and queer creators that I know. And, you know, I, I make whatever, I make what I consider to be a reasonable effort. But just because I consider it to be reasonable, that don't mean it is. Someone around here is smoking pot. Jesus, oh, that's strong. And it's reasonable to criticize me. And it's reasonable to frame those criticisms. Because, yeah, there is no ethical consumption of the capitalism. The only thing I'll say is that because there is no ethical consumption of the capitalism, the other meaning of that is that you should be real fucking careful about getting on a high horse about it. Like, it's fair to criticize people for making unethical choices like eating at Chick-fil-A when other options are easily available at the same price. But, as I mentioned with the whole of, like, it's easy, especially for rich people, to criticize the poor for not being vegan, for example. Because, oh, the meat industry is so unethical and animals are being tortured. We only eat vegan. Like, that option is not available to everyone. 
And so if you sit around being smug about how much ethically better you are than those stupid pores who still eat meat or just people who eat meat in general, it's like you're still wearing clothes that were probably produced with child labor. You're still living on land that was stolen from indigenous Americans probably or in any colonized country. You're still profiting if you're white from wealth that was stolen from indigenous people hundreds of years ago. So instead of taking no ethical consumption of the capitalism as a reason to feel morally superior to others, why don't you start feeling some solidarity? Why don't you go, okay, we have this issue where the meat industry is fucked up. How can we maybe push for some legislation to change it so that poor people don't have to make that unethical choice anymore? So that they can have a chance to live ethically. Because we made an effort to change the system. We made an effort to, you know get rid of capitalism, or at the very least, do some harm reduction so that fewer animals are tortured for the meat industry, you know? And insofar as I feel okay about my choices, it's that I try to recognize when the ones I'm making aren't good enough, when there are alternative options available that are less harmful, that are less unethical. And I try to change towards those as much as I can. And if any of you have any thoughts about that, like any, like what could a person like me reasonably do to do better, I'd be happy to hear them. But just, you know, I have rent and an electricity bill that needs to be paid this month. I have student loans. I'm not rich. I'm not poor, because I live in a country with, you know, universal health care, which makes me richer than most Americans by default. But, you know, within my means. And this... The other... It's, it's easy... When you're talking about this, it's so easy to sound self-righteous. Like, ah. Uh, other people understand the ethical consumption of the capitalism wrong, but I understand it correctly. And everyone who doesn't agree with my interpretation of the term is a stupid, smug, selfish, bourgeois, whatever. And I think I sounded a little bit like that during some points of this. But I also, I also try to have a recognition that when someone poorer than me, or someone who's in a marginalized class or racial group calls me out for something and says, hey, you could do better than that. It's on me to listen. Not necessarily to bow and scrape to every criticism, but to listen at the very least and make an assessment. But yeah, I mean, this is why I did it in a vlog. There isn't an easy answer. There isn't a clear yes and no. There isn't a, ah, here's why I'm right. I may be wrong. I may be going about this entirely wrongly. There might be a much better option available for me that's better. Uh, I don't fucking know. But yeah. That's my answer to that curious cat question. <laughs> <laughs>